<clears throat> hey uh, YouTube, this is the Stevie D09, obviously. Um, so I'm going to do my first tutorial that I've done in a while. Uh, the last video I did of me speaking was the Does It Play Metal crap. Um, this one isn't a Does It Play Metal, this is a tutorial because I haven't actually noticed a decent one on YouTube. But I don't know if I've seen any. So this will be a first. Um, uh, this is a tutorial on how to play the new single Temper Temper by Bullet My Valentine. Uh, it's quite a funny story actually. I listened to them play it live on Radio 1 or something and then I listened to it and I was like, oh crap, this is a good, this is good stuff. Well, you know, I listened to it anyway. <laughs> and I went, oh crap. And I picked up my guitar and then all of a sudden I could just play it. Uh, like, because I've played so much Bullet. Obviously the technique sort of stuck in my head even though it was kind of a new thing. It was more like Axe Wound, which is an interesting direction. Anyway, I digress. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to teach you how to play Temper Temper. You need to have drop C tuning guitar. I think that's right. That'll do. Uh, one rule, always tune your guitar before shooting a video. <laughs> Okay, and you need distortion. Obviously, I'm using the old, good old Boss MT2. Okay. Excuse the noise, it's a bit... Um, you know... A bit buzzy. Okay, so we're gonna start off... So it starts off, you hear the... Tss, 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 good old moose. Um, and then Padge comes in with this riff. Oh, I fucked up. Hmm. Doesn't sound very good. Oh well. That'll do. Right, so he comes in with this one. That was kind of wrong, but I'll teach you it correctly. Okay, so we're gonna put this on the D string. I need to pick at that speed, so. And you're gonna go. For the first little, that's the first section. Um, you can go um, sort of. It's easier. I think it sounds more like the original when you go up. So yeah, so you're gonna go open seven, three, five, and then twelve, thirteen. So, and then you're gonna go open seven, three. Yeah, open seven, three, two, two, three. So. Okay, so and you repeat that twice, so if you play it right it sounds better. And after that, Matt comes in with this bit. That's a power chord, that's a, a C power chord. Uh, as in open C power chord sort of thing. Which is basically a power chord on the A string on the 5th fret and you can play the open if you want to and then it goes to the inverted power chord so you play 5th fret on the A and then 3rd fret on the D to get that and it helps if you pick upwards for that one to so hit the D first a bit clearer and then you hit the 5th um, uh, uh, frets on the A and D which is uh, basically a 5th and an octave of a fifth power chord and then slide that up to seven and then you all have this bit you slide it up it sounds better if you spend about three quid to get one of these delightful devices but not everyone has one um, but you can use all sorts I've seen people use um, well I used to use my iPod for a while and I sometimes use the rings um, but whatever whatever works sometimes it's just better to go but yeah and then it comes in with the riff that goes um, and that goes like this 
you go hammer on three to. Th this is pa uh, Padge's part, I think, or is it Matt's part? Uh, one of the parts um, goes. So you go hammer on three to five on the A, and then mute the open E string, and then slide it up to eight. Then back down to five, and then go three five five. And go open, open on the E, open, open, third pull off. So, like that. Then you get the next bit, which goes like this. So that's. Same again. Oh no, it's. Like that. Same as the first one then. Like that. Uh, so, 8, 5, and then 3, 5, f 3, 5, 3, and then 3, 5 on the E, a power chord. So. And that repeats, so you go. And then do a pinch on one of them. And then go back into that. And then the harmony for that goes uh, 2, 3 on the D, up to 7, 3, 2, 3, 3, so. same again, and then three, uh, 2, 3, oh, mute the string, up to 7, so that goes 2, 3, 7, uh, two, three, two, and then so that whole harmony part goes. And then that. Yeah. And that's pretty much the whole song because if you listen, it's just repeats of that. But oh, and also at some part it goes. Um, Which is, it's either octaves, so. No, sorry. Something like that. I'm not entirely sure about that. I don't tend to do it. Um, but yeah, um, if you watch my cover of this, which should be up on YouTube around the same time, you should be able to get to grips. But uh, just in case you don't, I'll do you a quick snippet of just the intro. Just so that you can understand where I'm coming from. Basically it. The, the only other thing is if you have a whammy bar, which I don't have, it goes up, and then he drops the bar. So Unless you know what you're doing. Normally I can do it, but I messed up quite badly there. But yeah, so it's a natural harmonic on the seven. Dump your bar, and then natural harmonic on the ninth, and pull up. Oh, I think that's it, basically. I'm almost 100% certain that's it. Like I said, watch out for that octave. I can't remember exactly where it comes in, um, but I learned the song by ear, so you're gonna have to forgive me if it's wrong. But yeah, uh, hopefully I get this up before other people do the same, and who knows? Maybe uh, when they release their album, I'll do some lessons on that. I'll try and pre-order it and get on that. 
but yeah, um, <laughs> popular getting Facebook messages all the time. So yeah, um, thanks for checking out the video, and you know, comment, rate, subscribe, all that jazzy stuff, and I look forward to putting up my next tutorials and covers and possibly some original stuff when my band when my band kicks off. So yeah, uh, you can look forward to all that lovely juicy goodness. Until then, uh, this is Stevie, uh, and yeah, I'm going to sign off, and I will put up my next video in due course. Alright, take it easy guys.